Welcome back for another episode of my series on takedowns that lead directly into submissions. In this episode, we'll be focusing on a Russian tie-up or Russian two-on-one, leading to a sacrifice throw, leading to the bulldog choke. Now, I've already made videos on the Russian two-on-one in detail, some variations thereof, a few things you can do with it, and also the bulldog choke. Please go watch those videos, links in the description below. In this episode, we'll be focusing mostly on how to chain the three techniques together and the mechanics of the throw itself. It's Ramsey Dewey over here at the Extreme Fight Club in Shanghai, China. I don't know, every time I say Extreme Fight Club like that, it sounds less extreme for some reason. But we're going to show you some more ways to go directly from a takedown to a submission. When I posted this footage of a live roll, a lot of you, well, three or four of you said, Hey, Ramsey, how do you do that? To which I responded, I don't really know. I just kind of did it. Happen on the spot. Let's break it down. So I had a Russian two-on-one to counter my opponent's collar tie. I sat out behind him for a lateral drop. I hooked one of his legs with a butterfly hook, kicked him over, accelerating his turn, and looped my arm around his neck into a bulldog choke. Watch as I do the same thing with Max here, Russian two-on-one, sit out, butterfly hook, elevate, he keeps rotating, the hand I was controlling, the Russian two-on-one, now becomes the choking arm, loops around his neck, and I sit out in front, finishing the bulldog choke. If you're working with a bigger guy like Max here, he won't rotate as much as a smaller opponent, and additionally, it will be harder to get your arm cleanly around his neck. Instead, this bulldog choke will often turn into a jaw crank or a neck crank, rotating his chin sideways. This next one is a basic Russian two-on-one to an armbar. So, he grabs a collar tie, he's reaching for my head, I'm going to strip that boobus over here, and then I get this move that hardly anybody ever gets in real life. Right? It's possible. It's just not very high percentage, but let's break it down because I'm going to use this concept to set up something that is much higher percentage. <laughs> and there are a lot of traditional martial arts, Japanese Jiu Jitsu styles. Maybe he grabs him in this hand and sets. So we can demonstrate on the other side. And then I elevate here, grab this, rotate. And yeah, it kind of looks like Aikido, something like that. Now I mentioned this is going to be a very low percentage takedown to a submission. What usually ends up happening when he reaches for this and I start locking up the Russian two-on-one is most guys, they don't want you to have the arm so they pull it in. Yeah, exactly. So you can't straighten it out. So I'm going to lock this up like this. Keep my head in here. Now I've got this nice handle where I can pull them around, put them on the floor, etc. Okay? So what am I going to do with that? I can sit back here. I can kick over. I can do all kinds of takedowns and throws, right? But let's do a couple. So again, he's got the collar tie. I strip the grip. I move my head in here. He pulls his arm in. And this grip is kind of a funny one, so let's break it down a little bit. I've got this basic C grip on his wrist. I've got the shoulder. He's pulling his arm in tight. This hand, this fist, I feed it under my own wrist and tie a torsion knot with my wrist. So as long as he holds on and squeezes, now I have a tight grip. So I could drag into the floor this way. But let's get a little fancy and throw him. So I'll sit up from behind and roll him down here. I can climb up on top. I already have this arm, so I can go straight to an arm lock there. And strip that. Question two on one. Sit. Here. Sometimes people will start to roll out on the other side, and I can turn that into a bulldog choke or a bulldog figure four choke. Probably didn't see what my arms were doing there. But in my experience, this happens a lot when I do this live. I'll start rolling over this way, I'll sit out, I'll bring this butterfly hook up, and then the guy will start to keep rolling. So I'll abandon this grip, and I'll reach around the head. I'm in a bulldog choke position. Now, he, he's already tapping out because it's pretty tight, but if I sit out here, I can put a great deal of pressure. Or if he's a smaller guy, I can lock it up with a rear naked choke type grip. 
So I strip the grip, get the Russian two on one, sit out from behind, get my butterfly hook, move over, and he starts to roll. Right, right into the bulldog check. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Now get out there and train. Do you like the rash guards I train in? Well, hey, get your own at xmarshall.com. Don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything.